happy, happy, happy Monday. I'm so happy to be here talking to you. Um, today's talk is about wellness, yes, and motivation. So I just want to make sure that you guys got all your prep together. You're ready for the week. You're getting motivated because your workouts are scheduled. You probably already got one workout out of the way, yes? Your morning cardio, yay! And that's something I actually wanted to bring up. Because someone was asking me about morning cardio last week, and I was like, ooh, let me tell you this, but I don't want to tell everyone because not everybody likes my wife. Sorry guys, my Wi-Fi is going in and out, but that's okay. I'm going to pretend like that didn't happen. Okay, so Monday motivation, talking about morning cardio. I love to do it. It's so efficient for fat burning. If I can get in at least two to three a week, it, it really... Um, it's like a catalyst. It like supercharges my fat burn. One, because I'm burning at a prime time in the morning and it really just sets up my metabolism for the rest of the day. So I love morning cardio. If you can even see right here, I got my little uh, recumbent bike. Yes, this is where I do my AM cardio right now because the air hasn't been too good. You guys know about the fires. So I've been at home doing my morning cardio. And I just want to say for you awesome people who have been watching me come to you daily and you've been asking me questions, you've been sharing your stories, and I appreciate it because it's kind of like the, the namaste effect, right? Um, the teacher in me sees the teacher in you, the divine in me can see the divine in you. They say this a lot in yoga, but really, like A Course in Miracles says, every relationship is an assignment. So everyone I meet, I know they have something to teach me. So for those of you sharing yourself with me, I totally, totally appreciate it. Because look, now I'm re-inspired to do my morning cardios. I have to admit, the last week I've been off because I've been like staying up late, burning the midnight oil, work, work, work. And so now I'm ready to put it back in my schedule and commit to my daily morning cardio. I love it. And so because the air, I mean, part of it was the air too. But like I said, I got my bike. I'm going to get back on track and start burning the fat. Yes. Ooh, and that's like a Monday mantra for you guys too. I want you to start thinking, burning body fat is easy. Okay, I like that one. Burning body fat is easy. Yeah, try that. See if it works for you. If not, think of something else, you guys. Oh, the only thing I can think of right now is... Patience is a virtue as I'm sitting here waiting, waiting for the reconnection of the Wi-Fi. Sorry, it's probably not delayed on your side. I don't know how that works, but I'm back. Okay, so talking about <laughs> patience is a virtue. Talking about this journey, it doesn't have to be hard. You guys, if we can change our minds about the way we see things, the way we think about things, we can shift our whole energy. We can make this fun and exciting. Like taking care of your health and your wellness can be fun, right? And it can lift everybody up around you so why wouldn't it be a good thing right so let's keep it fun let's keep it light i'm here just to shine 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 health and i was just reading the message it's like boom missy face okay so technical difficulties today i'm learning patience okay thank you um thank you for staying tuned and you're probably going to want to watch this later with the replay so you don't have to wait but let me talk fast in case i run out of uh wi-fi connection again so what was i talking about yes shining, radiating, perfect health, perfect wellness, um, in the sense of the worldly sense of perfect, right? Because we don't have to worry about really being perfect in the earthly sense. But my point is, okay, so I was talking about Course in Miracles. I did want to shout out my homegirl, Muriel. She's so awesome. She's the first one who exposed me to A Course in Miracles over there in North Hollywood. I just found out yesterday that she's going to be putting on a Saturday class for people in North Hollywood to introduce them to A Course in Miracles, which is a great text that really just kind of helps you, like I was talking about, shift your perception from fear to love, okay? Your life will change. It's just a great system of learning different exercises and really getting in touch with you and the power of love. So, okay, that's Muriel on Saturdays. You know, she also has a regular class every Tuesday night at the North Hollywood Church. It's it's freaking cool. I mean, she is just so, such a divine angel. She really took care of me and my mom at a tough time back um in 2012 and she would even come to my Zumba classes. She was so supportive. I love you, Maria. I hope you watch this. So moving on. Okay, so talking about mom and what I wanted to bring to your attention was different healing modalities, you guys. The first time my mom got sick, it really pushed me into studying more about alternative health. Because if you guys have ever been with someone or you know someone who's had this thing we call cancer, please take the fear out of the C word, okay? 
But people who get this, we've seen them go through treatments, whether it's radiation or chemo, surgeries. Um, it's not fun and um, it puts a big toll on them or it can and just from what I experienced I realized there's got to be a better way. Can we find a better way to heal this disease, um, take away whatever you know is hindering the health of these people and so I started exploring in, in college and I took holistic health classes, Eastern Healing Perspectives, Chinese Medicine and so I wanted to start sharing these different modalities with you so for whatever is going on in your life right now you can be open to something new. So I wanted to talk about acupuncture. I had an amazing experience with acupuncture. It started out as a homework assignment. My teacher said, you guys need to go try this and then report you know, what you learned and da 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 da. So acupuncture works with meridians in the body and energy points, right, where it intersects and it's really kind of cool. But I went at the time for, I don't know, back pain I used it and sinus infections. I used to get these horrible sinus headaches and um, the acupuncture worked for me. It also got me to start seeing a massage therapist, which also helps. So if you guys know about acupressure, those are other ways that you can heal your body and take care of things. Um, they also use it for pain, right? Pain for different allergies. And oh my gosh, my little doggy. Sorry, Dizzy's coughing. Um, different allergies and um, addicts. It also helps with addiction. So you guys can look into acupuncture for alternative methods of healing. Um, another one I wanted to share with you is essential oils, just because it seems like everyone's like introducing me to essential oils all at the same time. Now I have another funny story about that I should probably tell you later, because it was from the same place. I went to the Kuan Yin Healing Arts Center in San Francisco, that's where I would go for my acupuncture. Love it there. They even had Qigong classes. So there's another form of meditation, breath, and very similar to yoga in the exercises. Um, but that was amazing for me too. That helped me through some really stressful times. And But anyway, I was talking to someone there. It wasn't even anyone that was teaching or working there, but like a student. And they were like, um, you should try essential oils for that. And I was like, okay. And I went to the local store they sent me to, I just started picking out all these things, you guys. I was like, ooh, this is good for this, this is good for this. Took it. This is my boo-boo, this is who's making all the noise. Okay, sorry, another Wi-Fi connection problem. So my story, I took these essential oils and I basically OD'd on them, okay? Too much all at once, but you know what? It was for my good, it was for my highest and best because at that point I was so stressed out I didn't even realize like when was the last time I ever cried? When did I let myself really feel my feelings and let go? And what these things just did to me, it just opened up all these emotions and I was able to cry. And I was crying and I was crying. And it kind of freaked me out though too because I wasn't quite sure why I was crying yet. And um, my boyfriend at the time, he was like, yo, what's up with you, you know? But I was like, I don't know why I'm crying. But in hindsight, I could see that I just needed to release and it was the perfect thing for me at the perfect time. Of course, now I have friends who are skilled in essential oils and they've been schooling me, right? There's Jen, there's um, Rika. Now you guys, Tina, I'm sorry, Rika got to me first. She made it easy for me. She was in dance class and she said, Missy, let's get these oils. And I love the oils and it's great. And so I'm learning and I'm practicing those things. But Tina, I'm not forgetting about you, she has a, an event this Sunday from 3 to 5 over there in North Hollywood or Valley Village and it's going to be awesome because her pad is awesome. I mean, it's a wellness center and so, oh, I hope to be like you one day with my own wellness center. Um, yeah, so she works out of her home. It's gorgeous. It's so serene and she's doing a, an essential oils uh, workshop this Sunday. So check it out. Tina Calderoni. Um, you guys can look at that. But I don't know. Is that all I wanted to say today? Um, the acupuncture. You guys be open to other healing modalities. And I'll tell you, as a health and wellness coach, I'm looking into all aspects because not one solution is right for everybody. There's billions of people on the planet. Why, why do we think that just one method would work for someone, okay? So I'm exploring more. I have lots to teach you as we go on. Again, my favorite tool, and this is the one I'm promoting right now, is my sacred journey to John of God, you guys. I, let's go see the healer, man. He's like the most world-renowned, powerful medium healer, and he's in Brazil, so we get to party in Brazil have tons of fun and just really go deeper you guys and so I want you to check out my website 
Sacred Healing Journeys with Missy. Okay, check it out and just let me know what you think, you guys, because life is too short to just keep doing the same crap over and over again and expecting a new result. I'm here to help you. Fitness, wellness, whatever you need, comment below, send me a message, check out my free content on my other website, missyarellano.com. I love you, you guys. Dizzy loves you. He says I love you. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.